Hey there guys, welcome to my channel, welcome to my video, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to make your own farming sim server. So I assume you got farming sim 19 in the Epic Store for free during last week, and you're wondering how to make your own dedicated server because you already own the Steam copy, and you know that you have to own two copies to host a dedicated server because you cannot launch a server and play with the same city key so you found out it was free on epic store and then you thought holy shit that's my time to shine it's my moment to get farming sim make my own server invite my friends and you know build a giant farm but then it turns out that it doesn't launch like the steam version which just played dedicated server.exe and it runs and boom you just gotta connect and play so yeah let's let's get into it let's get into action so first things first you gotta open the epic games client launch it log into your account and go over to settings all the way down here click on farming sim 19 and then check additional command line arguments and that that in server this little thingy in server there you go then you can finally uh, say that you're partially ready to roll so now it's very important to open dedicated server uh, XML and uh, change passwords to make it easier or at least you know to know which password it is because otherwise it doesn't let you actually set up a password uh, at first so uh, you know it's gonna have a preset password you change it you memorize it whatever you want to do you can also add a logo you just gotta uh, place it into template uh, folder and then just replace those files it's pretty cool you can customize and make it feel more like home you know now uh, after you added the launch settings and stuff you can head over to your library your big library and then play the game quite literally and it's gonna launch this dummy farming sim 2019 game exe which is a headless client and it's gonna do the ownership uh, check and all the stuff it's gonna load the dlcs all the mods you happen to have you know the usual as if it were the normal game but it's actually a headless client because that's uh, how it works on Epic Store. It doesn't let you play dedicated servers straight away. It's not gonna uh, like work. The server's gonna be offline. You're gonna have to launch the headless first. And then once you launch the headless client, you can finally head over to the dedicated server.exe and finally run it. Very simple. And it's gonna take a little bit to load at first. It's gonna give you the IP, which is usually the local network IP. Of course, not external one. And then you just head over to that URL. So let's get over to Google Chrome on H1681111. There you go. And then you type in your username, your password that you set like previously. And it's gonna say the game is not activated, which is actually not true. It's just a, an issue with the Epic version, but it doesn't really mean anything. So first things first, I assume you want to change the server to be more like you, you know, to feel a lot more like home, like get mods in, you know, save games if you wish. So first of all, uh, all you got to do is stop the server. So you click on stop. And once you click on stop and you do whatever you got to do here, do not click on start because it's not going to work. As the dummy is closed, the farming sim 2019 thingy is closed, so it's not gonna work. It's it's gonna remain offline. It's gonna throw an error message. So first of all, let's set up a server name. Let's call it Errors Test Swamp, and then you get an admin password. Which, well, I'm gonna get mine as Potato. That's my password. Game password Potatoes Potato. Let's make it simple. Uh, save game could be save game one as you can see I have a save game already which I play with my friends but let's just ignore that save game one and then map mm, turns out we don't have any interesting maps to play with so we go over to mods and then 
It's gonna tell you you have one percent usage of your sto storage. You can store a lot of mods, as you can tell. So let's choose files. It's got some interesting stuff in here, huh? So it's gonna be as big as your disk. So if you have like one terabyte, you're gonna have one terabyte available for mods. So let's take uh, Lone Oak for instance. And uh, actually, I want more than Lone Oak. I want a uh, Harvester as well, like 50, 60. Uh, which is oh it's too big let's get 60 and 70 instead but sts harvesters which are classic very nice uh and then you click open and upload it's gonna send it to the server see uh progress bar right there 25 percent is pretty quick given it's local uh the tip also works for like azure or you know uh amazon web services web uh is it service yeah it's services and um, uh, Google Cloud Platform or any VPS provider you wish to use, but it's going to be slower given it's not a local connection, so it's going to depend on your upload speed. So, there you go. We have Lone Oak Farm, we have the mod loaded. Pretty simple. Then we head over back over to the home, and uh, now we could activate a couple mods, right? You tickle them, you tick them. Pretty much tickle, 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 and activate. There you go. Active mods. We have Lone Oak Farm. We have the John Deere STS. Then we could start changing things, which it reset because I didn't save. Uh, very smart of me. Gotta say, there is swamp. And then password potato, and then game passwords potato as well. Save game one slot. Uh, Lone Oak Farm, uh, Farm Manager, Matchmaking Server. It depends on your location. Uh, I'm gonna go with international and game language English save interval. That's up to you. Remember that uh, it might stutter a little bit. So when it saves, so make sure to make it very spaced out so that it doesn't really, you know, destroy the gaming experience. Imagine it like stuttering every ten minutes or so. That wouldn't be quite cool. And also, it would, you know, fill your storage real quick with all the backups and stuff. Make sure to, you know, do not save that often, okay? Uh, after, uh, check it all. Make sure, you know, the mods are all there. Because, you know, you would have to do everything again. So just make sure the mods are all loaded in. The settings are all according to plan. Then you just save. Pretty simple. Now, uh, the logical thing with the like non uh, Steam, non Epic version would be clicking on start. It would work normally, which is advised by uh, Giants. If you want to have your dedicated server, to buy it straight from their website. But we are, um, we are, you know, guys like to save money. I assume so. Like we get it on Epic for free, and we run to a couple issues, which are fine. I mean. It was free, so it's only uh, logical to have a couple issues because nothing in life is free, you gotta pay for it somehow. So, well, now that we have everything set and saved, we can finally close this one so the interface is not gonna work anymore. Any change you make in here is not gonna do anything because it's offline already, like it's literally fully offline because the server's off, so there is no page anymore. When we get back to the epic page. Open the library and then you launch it back. Simple as that. Just launch it like so. And then just wait for it to load and then you can open the dedicated server. One thing to bear in mind make sure you have uh, your ports open. A couple ones. You gotta open port 10823 and ports 8080 and 8443 so that it works. Uh, if you don't know how to open ports on Windows Firewall, uh, you should check up on YouTube. There's a lot of like videos teaching it, like quite a walkthrough, very easy to do, it's not hard. I would do it here, but it would take more time, so it's not a point. Uh, server's up and running again. We can even make sure by logging in once again admin and then typed in the password and then here we go server is up and running it's gonna say game is not activated but it's not true it's a glitch here's the server name uh, password save game slot okay okay it seems to be fine 
then we can just finally uh, launch farming sim 19 and play very simple there you go there you go player join yeah I'm gonna choose international like so and then it's gonna show up first things uh, it's gonna be the first option because it's uh, the local server for you and then you just type in the password Also, it's valid to keep in mind that if you want like friends joining from your network, you gotta open enable DMZ to the server IP. So like, open it f uh, to the local IP of your server. If it's like, for example, 192.168.15.111, which is mine, you gotta open specifically for it. Do not open your entire network. That's very dumb and risky. Do not DMZ your whole network, for God's sake. If you're if you're willing to make a game server, just, you know, make sure to do that only for the specific machine, not to the entire network, because that could be very risky. It's risky on its own, just to a single one, so uh, I would uh, advise uh, against uh, doing that on a normal machine. Use a virtual machine, which is isolated, so there's no risk. As you can see, the server is working just fine. Um, we can even like create our farm. Uh, oh, we have to log in as admin first. Potato. Okay, I'm an admin now. Look at me, boys. Then new create farm. Let's call it swamp. And then we set a password, which is gonna be potato. And then create farm. And then you join the farm. And there you go. That's your farm. You got the cash. You can buy whatever you want and play with your friends. It's pretty simple. And that's pretty much it. Uh, that's how you make your own server. As you can tell, it's pretty, pretty simple. The message means nothing. The game's not activated, as I mentioned before. So as long as you open the ports, uh, the required ones, as I mentioned previously, and you do the DMZ, people are going to be able to join. And you're going to have a lot of fun. So if you want to like up upload mods or change anything, save game, whatever you want to do here, change server name, language, whatever, just stop the server first. Then this one's going to close the dummy farming sim 19.exe. And uh, from not from there on, it's not the server is not going to be online anymore. If you click on restart, it's not going to work because this one is closed and it has to be open so that it works. So that uh, you have to, after you do whatever you gotta do, upload or you know change the settings and save, you gotta close this one as well, and then you relaunch this one, and then you launch this one, and then the server is back up. Simple as that. It takes some time. It does, yes, but that's the way it is, and it's free, so we cannot complain. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it helped somehow, and. Um, if you guys have any questions, the comment section is right down below. Don't be shy. I'm going to be more than willing to answer any questions.